Sean Ravitz. I'm the Vice President of Administration for Supermarkets of Cherry Hill, or Ravitz Family Markets, trading at ShopRite. People don't normally think of a supermarket as a family-run business, but I'm actually a fourth-generation family grocer. And uh, it's with great pride that we uh, own and operate a business uh, in the community that we serve. As the uh, Vice President of Administration, I get to do all the things that nobody else wants to do. It's a, it's a glorious title, but um, I am responsible for uh, finance, labor relations, human resources, engineering. I think that's the top four, um, but I really have a, uh, I have a passion for technology. I'm in charge of a technology committee uh, which is overseeing a new technology going into the supermarket. It's called ShopRite Mobile Scan. The technology enables a shopper to use their smartphone to scan their own groceries throughout the supermarket, go to the checkout, transfer their order, pay without even talking to a cashier. One of the things I'm most proud of is that we run the Ravitz Family Foundation. We've been able to touch so many different children, so many different organizations. Uh, one of which I'm proud of is Bill Jake's Place, which is a boundless playground for people of all physical abilities to go and play and participate outside in a wonderful family environment. We've always had a corporate culture at ShopRite of giving back to the community. Our mission statement is we are partners in caring for our neighbors, families, homes, and communities. It's not just a statement, it's what we believe. And by giving back and making our community a better place to live and to shop, it's a win-win situation. And it's something that we preach uh, to the cashier all the way up to the grocery manager inside the store. And it's something that I live with every single day. Our corporate philanthropy goes inside and outside the store. Uh, the Girl Scouts are and the Boy Scouts are the only two parties that are allowed to actually solicit in front of our stores. And the reason is because our values are aligned and they're both unbelievable organizations that are helping shape the leaders of tomorrow with the programs that they run and the volunteers that teach them. I have been coached by women more than I've been coaching women. My wife Debbie and my daughters Amanda and Sophie have taught me better ways to communicate, better ways to volunteer into the community, into areas that I would never have gone into. My wife inspires me all the time with all the volunteer work that she does and, and taught me that there's just more to life than business and football. My leadership journey started as a young kid. Um, as young kids, we tend to get in a little bit of trouble. And when I got into trouble, I got dragged into work to sweep the floors, to clean the garbage cans. Bagging groceries was a good job to have. And I learned the ropes growing up through school. I worked in every single department in the supermarket. And to this day, I thank, thank God that um, I was able to get those experiences. So now as a leader within the organization, I have an understanding of, of what all of my associates are doing day in, day out, and what makes their job successful and what makes it difficult. And then my job is simply to give them the tools to succeed. My role models are my parents and grandparents who have really laid the groundwork for who I am today. Starting with my mother, she's an artist and has a great free spirit. And uh, my father and my, my grandfather who have really laid the groundwork and the foundation of the business and had the vision and the ability to change through the years so we could survive for 45 years as a small supermarket. My advice to young people is, to, is really to follow their heart. If you don't have a passion in what you're doing, you will truly never be successful or happy. So follow your heart, trust your instincts, and then pick out somebody within what you feel is the right path to go on and follow their leadership and uh, continue to work hard, uh, be dedicated, and do it 100%.